in this study vlog, I'm going to talk about To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm going to talk about chapter 19 and how Tom Robinson is presented during the trial. Now, obviously, we've spent the whole book building up to this point where the trial is happening. We know that Tom is a black man accused of raping a white woman, Mayella Ewell. We've heard her testimony and her father's testimony and the testimony of the sheriff, Heck Tate. Now, finally, we're going to hear the story from Tom's perspective. Um, and I think we've become aware through Atticus's questioning of the witnesses that there are elements of the stories that don't corroborate. Um, we've seen that... Um, Mayella was um, punched on her right eye, which suggests someone left-handed. We found out that um, her father is left-handed, um, but we're going to see now that Tom has a disability in his left hand, which means it would have been virtually impossible for him to cause these injuries. We've also seen the way that even though Mayella was so badly beaten up, her father didn't even think about calling a doctor which suggests something fishy going on here in terms of his motives and what actually happened. Now, I want to think about the way that Tom is, from the beginning, a marginalised character in the novel. Um, that the theme of marginalisation is really strong in the novel and there's other characters who are marginalised too. I would include Mayela Ewell as a marginalised character, as well as the elusive Boo Radley. Now, as a black man, Tom is in a minority group here. He is in a, a group of people who are mistreated and he's very much marginalised in society anyway. But there's also the fact that he has a disability and there's also the fact that he lacks education. Um, and this really puts Tom at a very disadvantaged position when he's on trial um, in front of the jury. Remember that in 1930s um, America, you didn't have black people serving on juries either. So. The truth, what really did happen um, with Mayella Ewell? Well, a story begins to emerge through Atticus's questions of Tom. And it's a story that's really sad, but it's nothing like the one that um, Bob Ewell wants us to believe. The picture is of Mayella being alone um, in this horrible hovel of a home with multiple children all over the place to look after and no support from her father. In her struggle... Tom Robinson is one person that she can rely on and ask for help. So every day as he passes the property um, on his way home from work, she might ask him to do a little job like cut up some wood, cut up a shiver robe as, as is mentioned. Um, and Tom, out of the kindness of his heart, he does that. He doesn't ask for money. Um, he knows she hasn't got anything. He can see clearly the way that she's living. Um, and he feels sorry for her. And even though it's extra work for him, he does chores for her and he goes home and he does chores there. And, you know, that's just the sort of guy that he is. He's respectful, he's polite, he's well-mannered, and it's clear that he is not a violent character. On this uh, occasion, he reveals that Mayella saved up seven nickels so that she could send the children into town to buy an ice cream and then she would be alone and she contrived to get Tom inside her house and then she threw herself at him and kissed him. Um, and her father saw this happen and was so incensed with her that he then beat her senseless um, and accused Tom then of raping her. Now, um, the point is that Tom never felt anything for Mayella and is happily married and basically just wanted to leave. Um, even though to some people him running away is a sign of his guilt, clearly it's because he's a black man in a situation that is very, very risky. And we've seen from the, the, the arrival of a lynch mob um, back in chapter 15, what white men can do if they believe a black man to be guilty of sexual um, relations with a white woman. So Tom is running um, away because he's just desperate to get out of there and, and not have anything to do with this situation anymore. It seems therefore so unjust that Bob Ewell beat up his own daughter um, and is now um, taking Tom to, to court um, knowing that he could be given the death penalty for this crime um, on, on false accusations and his innocence is, is plain. Now, I think it's clear that Harper Lee's making a statement here about how black people are treated in society. 
the racial prejudice that is so common. And I think also Tom is a mockingbird. The novel is called To Kill a Mockingbird. And earlier on in the novel, um, Attica said it was a sin to kill a mockingbird. Miss Mordy explains because they don't do nothing except make music. Tom is a character who's done nothing but try to help Mayela Ewell. He's innocent, he's a victim, he doesn't deserve this. Um, and so he symbolises the horrible impact of racial prejudice in 1930s southern states at this time. Hit subscribe if you'd like to follow my vlog for more updates on teaching, reading and studying.